pursue God and not bread. People were concerned for their bread needs to be met. They saw Jesus as the source, who would meet their material needs. This was their understanding of the kingdom of God. The people who had eaten the bread and were filled were now desperately seeking Jesus. They had seen the disciples leave on a boat, but the Lord was not with them. They then came over to Capernaum and when they saw Jesus, they were surprised. The Lord knew what was in their heart. They were seeing Jesus as the source to meet their material needs. The Lord addressed the motive of their hearts. Man must not labor for the food that perishes but for the food that endures to eternal life, who is the Lord Jesus. He is the bread of life. Jesus is our all in all. We live and move and are being in him. In coming to Jesus, we are totally surrendered to him, and we live in submission to his will. Man looks at life as sweat and tears. The world is seen as a place where we must survive and may contribute if all goes well. We see God only to help us get through life. If God can take care of us and provide for us, we think that God has been good to us. Whereas our relationship with God is about belief. We give our whole life to Him. He is our beginning and the end for us. He gives us meaning and purpose. We live to fulfill His agenda, which is for us to have dominion over all of God's creation, according to His purpose. When we live according to the perspective of His kingdom, then all our needs are looked after, He is our Heavenly Father. Are you pursuing material goals in life? Do you see God only to your end? Would you surrender to Him as your all in 